uh, working with the online students is, is a challenge because they are on an accelerated schedule and they're also working full-time jobs on their own so they don't always have the time that you might expect for them to meet so you have to be able to work around their schedules but that being said still I want to I want to say there are some absolutely phenomenal online students like we're, we're not you know putting any of them down oh, yeah. there there are some absolutely phenomenal students it's just that you know, it is it is challenging because you you end up you know one day can be a, a whole like they're doing something completely different and that's why you have to make sure that everyone's communicating because they could spend a whole day doing something that just becomes you know it, it was poor communication you didn't accomplish anything Studio kind of allows us to take everything that we learn in the classroom and really apply it to a real life scenario and take everything that we have learned and really put it and see see what we have learned in action. And for people that necessarily haven't gotten all their training yet, you learn, you learn hands on every single Friday, every day we have studio, you get that experience and you have all of the mentors and the people that are more experienced or less experienced and you get to work with all of these different people and it's just a really cool way to get that hands-on experience. And it's great to see all of your, your individual piece come together into something that's bigger than just what you put into it. The studio is a lot more than just game development though. Uh, like us, we actually have to create uh, presentations and pitch it in front of faculty members, in front of other people. Uh, it's also everybody's duty on the job to actually market it, you know, show off, say, hey, this is the game we're doing, check it out. It's way more than just saying, all right, I'm a programmer, I'm going to go write some code for these people and be done. It's, you do way more than what you expect. It's an overall experience. The best thing, too, I think, from going through and having students coming in and out on, on, on my projects to do, is uh, some people are really talented, but it has, you have to express it and you have to sell it. So. Because no one's gonna like be like, oh, okay, explain this to me. Well, I do it really good, but I can't really talk about it. So that that you know presentation of what you do is super important, and it teaches that really well. Yeah. So the big thing that we get out of um, studio is is the teamwork aspect. So in your classes and stuff, you tend to just you can work in teams sometimes, but it's not as much, and you you'll work in teams for short periods of time. In studio, you end up working with a larger team of people for a more extended period of time, and you get those teamwork skills that you won't really get anywhere else. And you really learn how to be a part of a team and to work with several other different personalities and types of people that you wouldn't necessarily have otherwise. Um, and it has been known that people that have left the university and gone out and gotten a job have not necessarily had those skills. So being able to go through the studio will be able to provide those skills and gain that so you be better to go out and get a job, more marketable. Definitely. And having pretty much uh, the studio does help you build a team and contacts throughout the industry. Like we've all got to hang out together and if we ever wanted to collaborate, yeah. we know each other and know what our skills are. We've actually got to see it in play. But also it allows for everyone to teach each other through, this, through the process. And it's also taught me a lot on how to make a really good document in case anyone changes out through the teams. It's good to make sure you have something that everyone can relate to when you switch out team members and keep in contact with them. I, I also kind of want to add to what you said, oh, yeah. where you know where we know each other, it, it goes even further than that because game development, it's all about who you kind of know. like. You know, the fact that he's worked with somebody else, like Austin, for example, like I, I know Austin because of how you know, how much work he's done on his team. Uh, he's the entire, he basically did like all the programming uh, in the beginning of the entire project. And because of Harland, I know Austin pretty well. And it's just like that kind of thing. It's like, oh, I could even meet through him. Or like Ben Reichert's the person who like helps run the program. He'll get you connections that like, like this, like this is crazy. Key to the city. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> the key to the city, yeah. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, and even like summer, we have very few people to build our teams. Like I've got like five and one programmer here, and if we ever needed help, we're always really good at referencing another person that we can jump skill between. Like if someone needs art, I'll sketch it up for them if needed, or send someone in their way. Yeah, I can spare them. Definitely. It's a good resource for just getting a basic game out. Yeah. I'd say I'd say it's pretty on par to uh, our cousin Google. Google <laughs> seems to be one of our best friends when developing games. Uh, but definitely helping each other is key point for developing.
all the teams get to know each other pretty well, um, and everyone helps everyone else. The studio really, really emphasizes mentoring each other and getting to know each other and that networking aspect, and really being able to just help each other out on anywhere you get stuck. So you have that. And that mentoring is a key to teamwork there because you learn, you don't know everything, and the person next to you doesn't know everything, and you can teach them what they don't know that you do, and vice versa. It becomes yeah. very, very valuable when you're at crunch time. Yeah, starting out, I had no idea anything about art. Uh, I actually program, and I know some design, so that that was really key for me. And every time I had artists coming up to me, it's like, uh, what do I do? How do I help you? So doing this experience and building this team, I know so much more about art. My skills drawing, though, still suck, but I know a lot more. And that's uh, a major skill, too. Yeah. <laughs> Because if uh, like a programmer demands a specific art asset and what you want it to do, that's up to the artist whether or not they know how to make someone's arm explode the way you want when you shoot it off or whatever is in your game. So a lot of lot of skills, a lot of skills yeah, to know for only one person. So. I was gonna say I don't. I'm not gonna try to throw you under the bus, but like <laughs> you've worked on uh, well, JT, yeah. uh, you've worked on uh, on. Uh, Deadliest War also like yeah. you you helped work on that it's like you know even leads like they'll help help out on other projects and stuff like that yeah, yeah I worked on the Deadliest War is the the narrative design yeah. and uh, assistant programmer and uh, I was a programmer and uh, lead on the Cortez family and it was an interesting experience balancing two projects sometimes three because I worked for uh, several other projects yeah. throughout the process as well and I know at this point in the semester, there's a couple of different people working on several different teams, trying to make sure that everyone has the assets they need to. So, yeah. And being a being a school uh, and having this teamwork, it's a great place to fail. Uh, in general, failing you learn from it, and this is the the place to do it. Uh, last semester, we actually had a big problem with our title screen, and we had to redo it what three times. It would it took time, but Figuring it out what exactly we wanted and failing and learning about it.